Good morning, world. I am Thomas Warden. This is the Life Motivation. These are the entrepreneurs that come in here each day to give you their love, to give you their inspiration, to give you the words of knowledge of what they have done to shift their life in this world today. Why? Because we have dreamed as daydreamers for a long time, but we have found the one key that most lack within life. It's called action. Action to get the things that you truly want within your life. Action to go after that that you dream and you desire. If you don't take action to make little steps each day to move towards those goals and move your life towards that, then you will never have it. You will be that that daydreams about it and said, yeah, I thought about that one time. And, but yeah, I'm just throwing it on the back burner because I don't think that I could truly do that within my life. Why? Because most people let that self-doubt and that fear overtake them. They let that monkey that's sitting on their back talk to them the whole time, tell them, you can't do that. You aren't worthy enough. You don't have the talent. You don't have the skills. But I'm here to tell you today that you can turn around, tell that monkey what road to get a hike on, and then that way you can turn around and take actions for the dreams and desires that you truly want within your life. Because we all were born with that power, that successfulness within us, that we can do whatever we truly desire to be able to bring our life to that next level that we've been looking for and quit living in that life of lack to move our life with the words that we've been thinking for so long of saying to ourselves that we can't. So get rid of the NT altogether, throw them in the trash, put them in the blender, do what you got to do, parade them and put them in the, in the garbage because now you can accomplish everything you want. I am 43, 46. Now I started this online world at 46, 43 years of age because I wanted something more within my life. I knew that I had something more that I could give back to this world, something that the universe has been giving me for so long, but I never knew how I could truly harness it to be able to do something with it so others would be able to feel and know that they had the worthiness with inside themselves. Am I a preacher? No. Many people say you preach all the time and telling people how they can do things. No, I'm telling you what I did within my life and how I was able to shift the energies within me, my thought processes, my vibrations to be able to bring me in tune and alignment with my universe, my God source that was born that I was born with. So once I tapped into it, then now I'm able to give out better inspiration, better love, better knowledge to others so they can see how they can shift their life with every day with better words that they give to themselves. The most powerful words that I give every day is when I get up to me before I put my feet on the floor is telling me that I am grateful and that I am thankful for everything that I have within my life. The people that I, is around me, the roof that's over my head, the things that I've been able to accomplish within my life. And then I go to that mirror and I start that talk of, I love you. You are powerful. You are wonderful. You are successful. You are knowledge, your courage, your courageous, your wisdom, your strength above and beyond. I have the wisdom to do the things in my life each day because he works with me on a day-to-day -day basis. He is within me and has never left me. I don't have to go find myself. I don't have to go create myself. I am here and I am happy with the physical body that I am in now. I am thankful for the things that I can do on a day-to-day -day basis with my physical activities because I take action in everything that I want within my life. The action of the good words, the actions of the good physical abilities that I do, because I do a, a few little exercises. Do I go to the gym? No, but I still do some sit-ups and push-ups to keep this physical body tone and looking good. And yes, it is a new look today. Yes, I went and cleaned up because I wanted a different look within my life that people would quit prejudging me off of looks. Because yes, I had a long goatee and it was long and white, but now I look a little bit younger, don't I? I look a little bit better, you know? I took off about 30 years just last night within five minutes with those clippers. But that wisdom that went off with that goatee is still within me. Those gray hairs that I have on my head, that is wisdom and knowledge and experiences that I have been through within my life that has made me the best person that I can be each day. And tomorrow, what am I going to do? I'm going to get up and try to be better than I was yesterday. That way I can move my life into that new realm, that new elevation to have the things that I want within my life and that I desire. And what did I truly want within my life? I wanted people that uplifted me, supported me, loved me, and gave me the energy to keep moving forward within my life. The people that you see on the screen here this morning, they do exactly that. And there is hundreds more that do the same as well. Not everybody is on the same time frame as us that can get in here and watch this. Some of them may be at work. Some of them may be sleeping right now on the other side of the world. But no matter what, I wanted something of people who could, I could surround myself with to make me better. Were they making me better? No, but their energies, the things that they were doing in their life, the things that they're doing each day to make them better, that's what fills me up my cup. 
the love that they give back to me by the support with the online videos that I put out, the comments and things like that. But each day, if you're not getting up and you're not taking actions for whatever you want, then things will not come to you. You will just be telling the same story over and over again of I wish I would have had or I wish I could or, you know, I regret that I didn't. Things like that. So today we're letting everybody know you have the power within you already. You have the successfulness with inside of you already. You have everything that you need. Now all you have to do is take actions for those dreams. That creative idea that comes up in that head in the middle of the day. Grab the pen. Write down that creativity that you have within you. And then take action on making it happen. Will you get it done today? No. But knowing that you're going to take a little step each day. You're going to give good words to it each day. You're moving your body in that physical activity to learn what you need to do. Because Thomas Edison, 931 times of trying and talking about building a light bulb. But if he wouldn't have went for that 932 and got all the parts and found the glass and got the copper, if he wouldn't have got all that together, he would have never invented that light bulb. So he had talked about it for long enough. He drew it out, had the creativity, had it in his head. But that next step was the most important key in his entire life. And it was action. Action to go towards what you want. Action towards making it happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's those little steps each day. Each time that you move and do something different. Each time that you go to that creativity page and you start doing something more. That is what's going to bring yourself into a better alignment of knowing who you truly are and what you want to do within your life. The higher vibrations that we talk about all the time, the higher frequencies, that's something that everything in this entire world is putting off. The cell phone is putting off frequencies. This pen is putting off frequencies and vibration. This computer mouse that I have in my hand is putting off frequencies and vibration. This shirt that I am wearing is putting off vibrations because it is a living thing. It is an organism that is built on this earth here today. Somebody made it, so it was a thought process from someone, and they took action to make it happen. So that right there becomes a living thing. It is moving. It is happening on a day-to-day -day basis. What are you doing to move your life? What are you doing to make yourself better each day? Whether it's your look, whether it's the way you dress, or whether it's something that you're wanting to go for within your life. Are you doing the best at the job that you're at now? The job that you were hired for, for that physical ability and that knowledge that you have within your head. Are you giving it your best every day? Are you taking action like you're supposed to at that job? Or do you just kind of walk around and, and grab a paycheck? You know, because I can't tell you how many jobs I went on that people were hired for a skill level, but all they did was walk around all day and didn't do a daggum thing, but still got paid. Don't be that person. Come in, take actions for the things that you want within your life. Move forward. Do what you want that is going to make you happy within this heart and your life and everything that you have within you. Get up every day. Fill your cup, your heart with love. Then let it overflow to others. Because once I get up, and I said it yesterday um, to someone that was on the phone, I said, I have to get up each day and make myself happy before I can get out and co-mingle with Carol. Yes, we're living together. Yes, we're, we're a couple. Yes, we're you know living. But yet she has to get up and make herself happy. She has to get up and fill her cup and her heart with love first and her happiness. She does her thing in the morning. I get up and do mine in the morning. Then guess what? Then we come together and co-create. Then we come together and take action for the things that we're wanting to do within life. I said it earlier that her and I are going camping this weekend not camping, but canoeing. We've got a yearly canoe trip that we go on. So with uh, probably about 40, 50 other people, maybe 120, I think, showed up last year. So we never know exactly how many shows up, but this river will be full of people that is having fun, having love, having laughter, enjoying their day and the fellowship. Because that's what life is all about. We co-mingle in here in the morning times. We co-create in here in the morning times, what we call a mastermind. Why are we masterminding? Because everybody has an idea. Everybody has something to bring to the table. You'll hear Brother Julio in a minute, and he brings something to the table. Miss Shannon wraps us up each day with the morning affirmations. What are they doing? They're bringing something more to the table of life for us to be able to inspire each other to do more within our lives. That's all we want you to do is do the best for you, and then you will inspire others because they will see your actions that you're taking. They will see the smiles on your face, and they're going to want to know why. What are they doing? They're always on the go. They're always, hang on like Miss Christy, 
Miss C.C. Connor over there. That lady is always in a tree. She's always working on the farm, always cutting something down, always mowing, weeding the, for the horses, whatever it is. What is she doing? The farm will not take care of itself. So we have to take action to keep that farm going, correct? Same thing with your own house that you have. If you don't get in there and clean it, if you don't wash those dishes, then guess what? They pile up and cockroaches start coming around, right? So we got to take action and keep ourselves clean, keep our homes clean, keep the car clean. And it's crazy that I've seen more people that keep their car in those rims cleaner than they do their house. That's crazy, you know, because that house isn't giving you a good sleep. I mean, that car isn't giving you good sleep, but that house does. That car doesn't, you know, have a stove and it's cooked, but that house does. So keep yourself clean. Keep life clean. Keep you going in the direction that people will see something different within you and they want to know how they can do it. Because many people lack the one thing that we said earlier action but when they see other people moving and shaking then what do they want to do they want to start prejudging you they want to start saying that he's doing something wrong he's not doing something right he's always on his computer he's never at work not understanding my true position of what i do in the online world so get out there and take action for whatever you want and let those people that want to judge you let them talk because it doesn't matter because their opinions of what you do and how you live your life isn't going to affect the way you live your life. And if you let that affect your life, then you're looking at it all wrong. Get out there and enjoy everything that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Have fun with it because it is a great day to have a good day. Go ahead, brother. Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. <laughs> I'm happy to be here in front of you guys this morning. I'm happy because I'm very grateful because I have life in this body. I have breath in these lungs that you cannot see, but they are here. And you know that they're here because I'm speaking. <laughs> it is a voice. <clears throat> um, can I tell you this morning that you have a hidden power within you? You, person, whoever you are watching this, whether you're watching it on YouTube, you're watching it on a live stream, or you're here on the panel talking and everything, you know, chopping it up with all of us, you have a hidden power within you a secret weapon that the world has yet to even see, that the world doesn't even know. Hell, you don't even know that it's in there. <laughs> Some of you are operating in it. Some of you guys aren't. You know, it's a matter of tapping into that. What, what power is that? Okay, we talk about this all the time. We reference that whether it be 40 million or 4 million, whatever, you were the one seed that could, right? You're here on this earth. You're alive this morning, this day. You're watching this, you know, on whatever day it is, whether you're watching it today or you're watching it a week from now, like, hey, that's a replay. That's a really old video content, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever time it is that you're watching this, you have authority inside you. You have power in you. You have a voice that the world needs to hear, okay? You have purpose. How do I know you have purpose? Well, you made it here. You're alive today, okay? And based off of that, that means there's something that you have to live out. There's a reason why you were put here on Mother Earth, man. You know, so if, if your soul, if you're, you're, you're so distracted with the happenings of the world, you detour your focus onto the wrong things. And as a result, you get overwhelmed. We're humans, right? We're all human. Last time I checked, you know. We're not gonna get into the alien conversation. That's another conversation. <laughs> there's times I believe I'm not from this planet, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, but there's, you know, there's, uh, uh, there's some power and there's some authority in you guys, man. You know, and, and it's if you, if you would just stop, you know, and, and, and allow yourself to not be overwhelmed by situations and circumstances, you'll begin to realize the potential. If you'll stop and turn off that TV, Turn off the radio, cut off the Netflix, you know, cut off the news, you know, cut off all this, this noise that's in the background of your life. You'll stop and you'll begin to examine yourself differently. You know, stop and find and see the purpose, seek out the purpose that's already inside of you as a person, as an individual, as a mother, as a father, as a son, as a daughter, whatever position you hold in life, okay? Regardless of what that position is, you have purpose behind your existence. You have purpose behind the reason that you're here. I, I jotted down some notes. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and share just to get a bit more into detail on what I'm referencing, okay? So, <clears throat> and, and, and I say cut out all of, all of the distractions, right? Because people get overwhelmed with distractions. What are, what are distractions, what, what are they there for? They're equivalent to a detour. They're equivalent to a roadblock. They're equivalent to um, just, just that, the word of, of it being a distraction. So if you're continuously focused on something else instead of your intent, instead of your purpose, instead of why you're, why you're here, or your loved ones, or positivity, let's say, to use that as an example, then you're never going to tap into the power that's in you. You're never going to tap into the authority that's in you. You're never going to feel as if you have a voice because your attention is always distracted. Okay, and what do we do a lot of times? We get overwhelmed with life. By getting overwhelmed with life and the situations and circumstances that come our way, we're submitting to the problems. We're submitting to the overwhelmingness. We talk about manifestation all the time in here, okay? But when you're focusing on that one thing, on that overwhelming situation, on that lack, on that, oh, I don't have, or I can't, you know, or, or whatever is going around you that you know that is not in alignment with what you want and what you're seeking out and the purpose for your life, okay? I can't tell you what those things are, only you know, okay? But when you're focused on those things, you're submitting to them. You're saying, you win. I surrender to you. I surrender to the thought. I surrender to the overwhelmingness. I surrender to depression. I surrender to anxiety. I surrender to whatever that thing is. You know what that is because I just touch a little funny bone in you. I just touch something in your heart right now. I even saying those words. You know what those things are. But by you allowing those things to captivate you entirely, and Thomas references it on, on frequencies. He, say, he says the exact same thing that I just said, but he'll use it in a term of frequency. He'll say, hey, you know, you, you're operating on, on 10 and you allow somebody who's operating on three to get you to the point of three. It's, he's saying the exact same thing, just in different wording, you know? But that, that's it. You submit to the distraction. You submit to the problem. You submit to the overwhelmingness of whatever coming, whatever's coming at you. So, so can I ask you, I, I've used this example before in a go live. I've used it in video content on my, I mean, on my personal page and video, business page or whatnot, where I did this whole, if you're focused this way, in the opposite direction, can you, can you walk straight? Can you walk without tripping? Can you walk without falling? Can you walk without stumbling? I think not. Why? Because you don't have eyes in the back of your head. And you need to be walking forward. You need to be making progress. You need to be going in this direction. One direction, not many directions. One direction. You need to focus on what's in front of you, right? Because that's where the purpose is. That's where the intent is in your life. That's where you need to be going in front, right? What's behind us is behind us for a reason. It's in our past. It's it's been there. It was there to mold us. It was there to shape us. It was there to build our character. It was there to get us to where we need to go. It served a purpose in providing a way of destination for your life. But if you're continuously focused on what's behind you, you can never focus on the blessing that's in front of you. It'll be a lot harder to be prepared for what's in front of you. It'll be a lot harder to be intentful. It'll be a lot harder to live out purposefully. It's a lot harder. And that's just focusing on all the crap. You know, all all the stuff that comes our way because we come, we're from different states, different nationalities, different backgrounds. People make different amount of money. People have different household sizes in here. There's all kinds of different situations and circumstances that are represented here just this morning alone. Okay. But if you continue to focus on all of those things that are, are only distractions, it takes your focus. It takes your meditation. It takes everything and all that energy that should be directed righteously and it focuses towards negativity it focuses it on detourism it focuses on on i think i just invented a word right there <laughs> it focuses on, on on that that of which doesn't serve you any purpose you know so i want to tell you that don't stop submitting to the authorities and, and you know in, in your life that are that are simply distracting you you know th- those those things are only problems They're not helping you. They're not adding to you. Worry doesn't add to you. Anxiety doesn't add to you. Depression doesn't add to you. These things take away from you. They distract you because that's exactly what they are. They're they're there to distract you. So stop allowing those things to win. Don't allow depression to win in your life. Don't allow anxiety to win in your life. Don't allow the emotion of feeling overwhelmed by situations and circumstances to win in your life. No, 
Is that your purpose here? I think not, my friend. You weren't created to be in depression. You weren't created to live your life in anxiety. You weren't created to always feel overwhelmed. You were given a greater purpose. I can't tell you what that purpose is, sir, ma'am. I can't. I just can't. You have an authority in you. You have purpose in you. I've said this a million times. You have a voice that the world needs to hear, okay? Um, something that, that you may or may not realize You've, your, your destiny from the day that you were born to the day that you leave this earth, it's already predestined. You can co-create in that because you have the will and the choices to make your life greater every single morning. Every single day is another opportunity to do that, okay? But from the beginning to the end of you, it's already been predestined. But what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about change? What are you going to do about growth? What are you going to do about maturity? What are you going to do about the problems? Problems are always going to, you know, come and go because that's life. And it's, is it really a problem or is it a learning experience? Is it really a problem or is it just a distraction? Is it really a problem or is it just serving to, to stop you in your tracks and to stop you from getting to where you're intended to go? Okay. Um, I've said this a, a lot of times and, and I don't, I, I've said this maybe during recordings, off recordings, you know, in our groups and in our circles, you know, in reference to the morning, when, when you get up early and you tap into the source, whatever your belief system is, but you tap into your life source, you go about your day differently. You carry yourself differently. There's a different authority that you operate in. There's a certain kind of confidence that you walk in the way that you walk, the way that you talk, the way that you like everything about you is just different because you've tapped into your source. And then the days that you don't tap into your source, why is it that you feel defeated? Why is it that you feel weak? Why is it that you feel more susceptible to the problems, to the issues, to the weight of the world or whatever it is? Think about that. You know, the good book tells me that he who seeks my face early shall surely find it. Let me word that slightly differently. The morning breeze has secrets to tell. The morning breeze has secrets to tell. But if you don't get up early to find out what that breeze is, if you don't get up early to give an ear to the spirit, then you'll never find out what's the word. You'll never tap into the source. You won't get plugged. Does your cell phone work without being charged? I think not. I think not. It does not work without being charged. It does not, fo it does not focus. It does not serve out its purpose without being ejected with that purpose first. That, 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 that purpose is energy. Go ahead, Thomas. You want to add something to that? Yes. How many of you wake up throughout the night, early mornings? It doesn't matter. You go to bed early. You wake up a couple hours later. Something rolling in your head. How many of you actually stop, sit up on the side of the bed and say, you know what? I know you're trying to wake me for something. I am here to ready to receive. And you grab the pen and that notepad that we tell you to put beside your bed all the time and start receiving. Don't start trying to figure out why am I up? I need to be sleeping. I got to work early in the morning. Clear your mind right quick because if something has woken you up, pay attention. Because there's a reason there was something that you was a quick dream that you may have caught within a five or 10 minute section that you were sleeping so hard and they were trying to talk to you and all of a sudden you wake up and it's like, ah, so what did you do? You removed yourself from that vortex where they were talking to you. And then now you can keep, you know, you need to receive that information. And then he was talking about the eyes in front of the head. Why is a rear view mirror the smallest thing in that, in that vehicle? Because we're not going backwards. We're moving forwards in life. That's why that windshield is so big. Think of that pathway and that journey of life and that highway of life that we're on. Think of that windshield and moving forward of where that's going. How many of you did remember the days of the Atlas, the road Atlas? How many of you actually use that versus the GPS? How many of you come so accustomed to just hitting the GPS and then just following where it wants to take you instead of planning out where you wanting to go? When my son first got his driver's license, we had the road atlas. We was on a hotel up in Oklahoma. We went and seen a, a basketball game up there. My nephew was graduating from the academy of, uh, for military. So the game was right up the road. So I said, hey, let's go to the game. That night at the hotel after the game, I threw the atlas on the, the vehicle because he had his driver's license. I threw it on the, the bed and I threw a piece of paper and a pencil. And I said, now I want you to map from here to the house. 
And I said, and then you're going to ride down the highways. You're going to know what road, what interstate, this, that, and you know you need to take. He said, we got GPS. I said, no, we don't. It's broke. No, it's not. We used it a while ago. I said, it's broke. I said, you're going to get us from point A to point B. You're going to plan out this trip. Now, I want everybody to do the same thing with your life. Where are you going with it? What are you planning for it? And then guess what? Then you got to put the fuel in the tank and take action to get you where you need to go. So the fuel that you're putting in your tank is the words that we're talking about here in the morning times. That fuel that you're giving yourself each morning, that morning breeze, you're getting up and feeling that source energy that you have within you already. You're tapping into it like he's talking about. Getting up and receiving the words that are going to come to you today for the uh, things that you need to accomplish. Now you're receiving those words and you're receiving everything in that early morning breeze, watching the sunrise. So you got to see something beautiful that was only made once. That sunrise is only going to come up once today. You're not going to see it again today. You'll see it again tomorrow. But today is a new painting for that sunrise that's coming up. And guess what? You're enjoying the day of the journey, the unfolding because of the things that you're taking action on and the places that you're going. And guess what? You're going to see one more beautiful painting tonight that is only made once. And that's that sunset that's going down. So that time frame that you've had within this entire day, guess what? It's only hums once. So what are you doing today to make you better within this life today? Because tomorrow will be a whole nother game, a whole nother problem, a whole nother situations that may arise, more things of people that's going to dump on you to see if you can handle it. But guess what? Everything that you think that is dumped on you, that you handle and you move out with your shoulders head and your head high then guess what? You know you have accomplished that situation, so you have learned something new that you can teach others how they can get their self out of those same situations. So now with that, you're a teacher. You have the abilities to show others what you have done to get out of depression. That's why I'm here in today. For those that have ever held the gun to their head and it didn't fire, then you had a depression that you were in. You were in anxiety. You were in a state of something. But I'm here today because it didn't fire. I'm in here today to bring others into a whole different realm of life because I know that I'm here for something more. After that day, I got down on my knees and I said, I'm here. I'm ready to release and I, I don't want anything else. What do I need to do? Show me where I need to go. I'm here to take action on it. So that's all I have ever done for the last four and a half years is take action every day, no matter what. If I was going in the wrong direction, I promise you, they let me know. But every situation that was, was brought towards me, I just took it as a learning curve and I seen what I could do to make myself better and anyone else that is around me that is going through something. I had to learn a whole different process of life, my way of thinking, the way I was always worried about what everybody else was thinking about me, the places I was going, always trying to kick down the doors to make it happen. But I got up each day and I have taken action to make sure that this life is the best life I'm ever going to live from here on out. I'm going to make sure that I'm filling my cup up with love first before I can go out there into this world. I'm making sure that my life is moving in the direction of action to make sure that I can inspire myself to be the best version of me each day. And once that cup is full, then I am ready to move forward. And I That's good. everyone in here. Go ahead. Julio. Um, yeah. Let me, let me just add one, one more note to that. And, and you're, you're speaking on it right now. Anyways, Thomas, you know, um, and, and, it, and it's in reference to the law of attraction, you know, whether you understand it and whether you don't, whether you submit to it or whether you don't, whether you believe in it or whether you don't, it's still going to operate, guys. It's still going to function. It's still going to be lively. It's, it's the law of the universe. OK, so we attract and we continue to attract the things in, in life that we don't want because we are so focused on that which we don't want. And that's what Thomas was just referencing. You know, when a person is so focused on negativity, when they're so focused on lack, when they're so focused on every, on this and that, and every detail in life or whatever those details are, and, and on situations and circumstances that we don't want, that's what we end up attracting. We want to attract success in life, but our thought of it is that it'll never happen to us and that it'll never happen. So that's what you end up attracting in your life. Instead of the latter and saying, I'm gonna be successful, and I'm, I can envision myself to be successful, or hey, what if you can't just yet, 
but you you can stop and think about what that success would look like and you could begin to put that thought into a vision and the vision we're writing down and be a specific and plan specific in detail to go this is what i want and this is what i'm choosing to meditate on i'm choosing to meditate may meditate on something greater i'm choosing to meditate on the life that i do want i'm choosing to meditate on the resolve of the problems that i'm facing and instead of focusing on the problem Okay, I'm choosing to resolve on something greater instead of choosing to resolve on something negative. Think about that for a second. You know, dwell on the things that you want and attract those things instead of the latter. That'll be the key to you operating in, in, in the law of that law of attraction. It'll set, it'll set you free, guys. You meditate on something, you know, in a positive way, and that's what you'll manifest. Get that negativity out you. It's only serving as a distraction, man. I love you guys. Yes. I want to ask one question of everybody in here. Everybody on this screen, you've got internet because you're watching through a computer or cell phone right now. Everyone I see is dressed and clothed. Most everyone has a home. Most everyone may have a job. Looks like you've all been eating pretty good. Everyone looks like you have a smile and, and a good physical ability going today. I want to tell you that is more success right there within your life than anything that you think that success should be because you have a home, you have a loving family, you have beautiful children, grandchildren, you have clothes on your back, the food in your belly that makes you more successful right here, right now than a lot of other people within this world. Once you understand that the little things that you already have puts you on that success level that you never even thought. Just remember that, guys. Be thankful for what you already have, and that will be a success right there once you give the thanks for what you already have. It's a great day. We're going to wrap this baby up this morning. I know we've been in here for a little while. I know everybody's got some crazy things to do because it is a wacky Wednesday, right? So we're all out here having smiles, having fun, enjoying life. Get out there. Throw some jokes at yourself. Make yourself laugh. Laugh at yourself if you do something silly today. Whatever it is. Keep the joy going within your heart. So, Miss Shannon, she's going to wrap us up with affirmations. So, go ahead, Miss Shannon. Funny affirmations for today. When it seems that everything I do is wrong and everyone is against me, it is the best time to wear my I don't give a damn tutu and glide gleefully on the dance floor of This Is Me and My Life. I love it when the coffee kicks in and I realize what an adorable badass I'm going to be today. When one door closes, you should keep it closed because the air conditioner is on. Men, please always remember, women are made to be loved, not understood. Have fun in life, guys. Be witty, be funny. <laughs> That's it. Have fun, guys. It's a beautiful day. Share the smiles, share the love, share the energy. And do your best you today. That's all we ask for. Be the best you. Love and appreciate you all. And just know the situations that you're going through, you're going to be okay. Love and appreciate you all.